Reverse Mortgage Works presents Living Better, brought to you by Carlos King Interior Design and Bobby Botina's Mexican and American Grill. A healthier lifestyle lets you live a longer, happier life. I'm Lori Larson. Let's get started living better. Featuring Dr. Joseph Sugar, Eisenhower family physician and owner and medical director of Restore Health Disease Reversal. Chronic inflammation, especially inside the body, is not good for us. And that's what we're gonna talk about. And featuring Chef David Horgan, creative executive chef at PS Underground. Mm. We're gonna be making a salmon salad today. It's gonna to be kind of a combination of seared and poached. So let me show you how we're gonna do this. Also featuring Arnell Sater from Perfectly Fit, who will help you reach your fitness goals. Have you done some exercises today? I'm gonna to show you some easy and quick and fun ways to get started. Enjoy your life living better. I am excited today to be talking to Dr. Sugar about inflammation. Uh, an anti-inflammatory diet is probably one of the best things that I've ever done. And I'm so excited that he's gonna be able to explain this in, in terms that we can understand to help anyone who might have issues with inflammation. So Dr. Sugar, what exactly is inflammation and why is it so bad for us? Well, first of all, Lori, not all inflammation is bad for us. Uh, we use inflammation to heal wounds and and uh, you know, correct a number of problems. But chronic inflammation, especially inside the body, is not good for us. And unfortunately, a lot of the foods we commonly eat cause a lot of inflammation in our gastrointestinal tract, the stomach and the intestines. And that's what we're gonna talk about. Oh, fantastic. I know that I had a lot of inflammation from food allergies, and it took me years and years to recover from it because it did such damage to my gut. And so following this sort of protocol has been life-saving for me. Yes, when we talk about the gut, I wanna start by talking about an organ that we've actually newly discovered. And it's amazing because there's a hundred trillion critters in our inner garden. The, uh, the bacteria, the viruses, even some of the parasites that make up our colon and they help us with digestion. They give us some of our vitamins. They break down our foods and they are completely dependent on what we eat. Whatever our diet is defines what our gut microbiome is all about. And inflammatory foods cause disruption and sickness among that microbiome. Uh, when you have an unhealthy microbiome, it's called dysbiosis, a disorder of your microbiome. And a lot of bad things happen as a result of that. The anthropologists like Jared Diamond and the evolutionary biologists like Daniel Lieberman at Harvard pointed out that probably the biggest mistake we ever made was to eat the seeds of grasses. We're not designed to eat grasses, yet we figured out how to take the seeds of grasses, wheat, oats, corn, even rice, and we can take those seeds and turn them into flour. And we've created a whole culture based on flour foods. And when we eat these things, they have inflammatory proteins. Now everyone's heard the word gluten, Gluten is not a protein, it's actually a glob of inflammatory proteins. And with modern developed wheat that was created since 1950, the amount of inflammatory protein in the gluten complex has gone way up. And it is the cause of this dysbiosis. And from that, when our gut microbiome gets sick, some of those unhealthy bacteria start migrating north mm -hmm. and into our stomach and gives us acid reflux, it gives us irritable bowel disease. These common GI problems 
are all a sign of dysbiosis. When I first got sick, that's exactly what happened to me. I kept getting acid reflux and it was going on and I just kept going to the doctor and I kept getting more prescriptions. And so it never really healed the problem until I started cutting out the foods that were causing me problems like the gluten and the, the grains and dairy and some different things that were causing my issues. But once I cut those out and started putting the healing foods back in, that's really when my body started healing and my gut started healing. It's amazing how much healthier you get when you stop the inflammatory foods. You know, I mentioned the grains, but you brought up the second most inflammatory food was a protein in cow's milk. You know, when we drink cow's milk, and it isn't true that everybody needs milk, we have trouble in two ways. Most of us do not tolerate the sugar in cow's milk called lactose, mm -hmm. and we have to buy lactose-free milk, but the protein, the casein A protein in cow's milk is inflammatory to our gut. And that's why it's not a good choice to be drinking cow's milk. Coconut milk, almond milk, and sometimes even goat milk is safer because it's less inflammatory. The third major inflammatory food we've created is taking vegetables like safflower and sunflowers and other things and turning them into oils. Mm -hmm. And these oils that are in all our salad dressings and many of our processed products are filled with these very inflammatory oils. Our natural oils that are good for us come from trees like olive oil, coconut oil, avocado oil. There's a variety of things that are not inflammatory. They're actually very healthy fats, but these processed vegetable oils get us in trouble. Hi, Mark Anthony with Reverse Mortgage Work. You'd like to join thousands of people living better with the all new, lower cost, reverse or retirement mortgage? We don't have a celebrity spokesman. We're local, licensed, certified professionals. Call to receive your free quote and learn about a retirement mortgage today. Bobby Botinas, Mexican and American Grill. Coming soon to the River in Rancho Mirage. Lunch, happy hour, dinner, and evening entertainment. Bobby Botinas, coming soon to the River in Rancho Mirage. Hello, I'm Carlos King. My passion is designing fabulous homes. I work closely with my clients to achieve the look and feel that matches their vision. My greatest satisfaction is the wow factor when my clients see our finished project. Let me translate your dreams into a visual reality. Call me at 760-880-9987. Dr. Joe Sugar is going to tell us how to live a longer, healthier life. Restore Health is a personalized health service that will help you get back to living better. We work closely with you to create a lifestyle plan that best suits your goals and needs through better nutrition, exercise, sleep, and other factors. So, when you choose to restore your health, give us a call. Welcome to Desert Outreach Synagogue, the voice of the valley, a place called home to anyone who needs one, a place of incredible music, community, conversation, and connection. Come join us. You already belong. We've even made a sugar inflammatory, believe it or not. I mean, too much sugar causes inflammation by itself. But the corn refiners have found a sweetener that is cheaper than even table sugar, and it's called high fructose corn syrup. And we now have that in our sodas, again, in our salad dressings. Look for that. High fructose corn syrup is in many food labels. That's not a natural substance. When we consume it, like what our body does, is it sends it to the liver, our chemistry laboratory, and says, figure, what the, figure out what this thing is. And it's not a natural combination of fructose and glucose, and, and it causes inflammation in the liver. And that triggers a very common, serious problem called fatty liver. 
So these inflammatory foods, inflammatory proteins, inflammatory fats, inflammatory sugars, which are pervasive in our diet, especially all processed foods, cause an enormous burden of disease. Wow, that's it's amazing because it's so much of our diet that we eat. And so to counteract these anti-inflammatory or these inflammatory you know, conditions, what can we do? Well, get on an anti-inflammatory diet. And there are a lot of books here that I have. You know, get off the grains, mm -hmm. uh, minimize dairy. And the only healthy part of dairy is the fat. So if you're going to have dairy, have the fat, believe it or not, have the butter. Uh, the vegetable oils only have olive oil and the tree oils. No trans fats. We take fats and when we make french fries and pastries, we hydrogenate those fat bonds and make it a trans fat. Very inflammatory. Right, so eat the butter instead of the margarine. Absolutely. But another disease area that is caused by this unhealthy gut flora, the, the microbiome as I described it, is uh, when it migrates into your small intestine, those walls are permeable and things get into your bloodstream that are considered foreign bodies. So your immune system is reacting to these things that are coming through the permeable small intestine and creating an inflammatory response. And that is now felt to be the cause of almost all autoimmune disease. So if people are looking for the right foods to eat to reduce inflammation, where can they find that information? Lori, I have written a book called Lean and Fit, which is my journey to healthy nutrition and greater wellness. And in this book, in the back, I have under resources, the superfoods, the 52 healthiest foods you can eat, suggestions for a daily meal plan, what to do about supplements, and some recommended reading. You can find it on Amazon. On my website, leanandfitlife.com, you can find those resources. I've got the superfoods, the daily meal plan, supplements. You can also order the book on Amazon directly from the website. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, this looks amazing. These ingredients look so delicious, but especially you chose salmon, which is my very favorite because it's so high in omega-3s. Yeah, it's really good for you, but I love it too, and it, it cooks up nice and uh, tender and moist. Mm. We're gonna be making a salmon salad today, so let me show you how we're gonna do this. It's gonna be kind of a combination of seared and poached. So I've got a pan warming here on the stove, and I'm just gonna do a little extra virgin olive oil. Another one of my favorites. <laughs> One of the healthy ones. Yes. And then I'm gonna take this uh, with the top of the filet down first and put it into the pan. And we're just gonna sear that just for a few minutes until it's got a little color on it. Mm -hmm. And just let those cook for a minute. You gotta have a little salt and a little bit of fresh ground pepper. Mm. Just wanna leave them alone and let them get some color. And then we're gonna flip them and add our poaching liquid, which is gonna be a little bit of uh, white wine and a little apple juice concentrate. So let me give these a check to see if they've got any color yet. Now that these have browned up a little bit, I'm just gonna give them a quick flip. And then pour in a little bit of white wine and apple juice concentrate. I just took the can of apple juice, frozen apple juice and melted it down, and then we're gonna add about a quarter cup of that. Mm. Maybe a touch more salt for flavor. Wow, I've never cooked my salmon this way. This is so good. And we'll just turn off the burner and leave it alone. And then the steam that it has in there is just gonna oh. continue it and cook it gently through. Wow. So, while we leave that alone to rest, uh, let's make our dressing. So this is extra virgin olive oil. Again, one of your favorites, Yeah, right? one of my favorites because it's anti-inflammatory, which means it reduces inflammation in your body. Any oil that is a tree oil oh, really? is a good oil, and any oil that isn't is generally not. Oh, nice. I, mean, I didn't know that. I mean, that makes sense, though, if mm -hmm. it's, you know, most of the tree oils, now that you mention it. So this is turmeric root, mm. and I'm just shaving off the outside of it. You can actually do it with the skin on. Uh, if it's, because the skin's fairly tender, but I think this, for today's purposes, we're just gonna leave it off. Okay. 
And then we're just gonna shred a little bit of this. Would you like to do that while I'm finishing? Okay. That's gonna give some nice color and it's good for you too, right? Health yes. benefits? Turmeric is anti-inflammatory. Uh -huh. It's anti-bacterial. Um, it's- Oh, fan really? Yeah, it um, has so many health benefits. They've been using it in India for 4,000 years. Oh, really? So it's, because it's been it around a while. <laughs> it has. Now, this is about a half cup of uh, extra virgin olive oil and mm, maybe a little less than about a quarter cup of lemon juice and then a tablespoon of whole grain mustard. Mm -hmm. Is that enough? Yeah, that should be just about right. And then just to balance out the acidity of the lemon, a little bit of agave syrup, maybe two teaspoons. And we'll just kind of... And if you were doing a low carb, that would be negligible as far as the amount of oh, really? sugars, yes. So that would be okay using mm -hmm. a little bit of that. That's nice, because you kind of have to have some sweet aspect. Absolutely. So that's about balance. a tablespoon and a half of turmeric. Mm -hmm. And we'll just whisk that together. You gotta add a little salt. Maybe, brings out the flavor. Yeah, it's about a teaspoon and a half. And pepper, about a teaspoon. You can see the turmeric is starting to color that just a little bit and it'll develop more as it sits. Welcome to Gelato Granucci, the little shop with the big flavors. Gelato Granucci's brilliant flavor designers combine only the finest quality ingredients to make unique flavors fresh every day. Flavors like Amarena Sour Cherry, Tiramisu, and Joshua Tree Coffee. We have Gelato Cakes, Gelato Cannoli, Pops, and Pints to Go. Located on North Palm Canyon in downtown Palm Springs. Gelato Granucci. Come experience the art of gelato. Jose Ramon. Landscape Design and Maintenance. Call Jose Roman, 760-619-6033. Hello, I'm Carlos King. My passion is designing fabulous homes. I work closely with my clients to achieve the look and feel that matches their vision. My greatest satisfaction is the wow factor when my clients see our finished project. Let me translate your dreams into a visual reality. Call me at 760-880-9987. Dr. Joe Sugar is going to tell us how to live a longer, healthier life. Restore Health is a personalized health service that will help you get back to living better. We work closely with you to create a lifestyle plan that best suits your goals and needs through better nutrition, exercise, sleep, and other factors. So, when you choose to restore your health, give us a call. All we have to do now is build our salad. So, if you wanna hand me the plate, we can do that right here on the board. Uh, I've got some fresh arugula. I love arugula because it has sort of a peppery taste to mm -hmm. it. It goes great with all kinds of, you know, chicken or beef or any protein, really. And then this is a little baby, uh, purple baby romaine. So, we'll just start with the arugula. And you can do this dry because we're gonna add the dressing over the whole thing at the end. And just for the color, a little bit of the baby romaine. Anytime you can get more greens into your diet. Yeah. You're living better. <laughs> if you wanna arrange a few tomato slices maybe on each side, fan them out or however you like, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this avocado. This is a nice ripe avocado. It gives just a little bit. Not, How you do you know when, you, to, when you're buying an avocado when it's ready? You can kind of tell by the feel. You don't want to squeeze them too hard or it'll bruise them for the next person that comes along. But you can tell if it's just a slight give, okay. if it's not hard as a rock and not too soft, it's all right. So you just cut off the end where the stem is and then cut all the way around. And then you just twist it a little and uh. it opens right up. And then to get the pit out, you just do it like that. Magical. And then we'll just cut it right in the, and then you just take a spoon. Speaking of good fats, uh -huh. <laughs> avocados are one of the best. I've heard that. So it has a lot of good health benefits? It does. 
And the more fat that you put in your diet, as long as you're not adding a bunch of carbs, you uh -huh. actually you stay fuller longer. It's the easiest and most effective way to lose weight is to add more healthy fats into your diet, more healthy fruits and vegetables, and get rid of the carbohydrates like the grains and the mm -hmm. potatoes. That's interesting because I always heard like low fat is the way to go, but not yeah, necessarily. Yeah, that's, that's yesterday's news. Oh, really? <laughs> that's, that's good news to hear. <laughs> All right, so now that we've got this built up, I'm just gonna go ahead and check our salmon. See that? That looks great. Now I know we used apple juice, which has a fair amount of sugar in it, but all it was was a poaching liquid on the outside, so you're not really eating any of it. It just helped infuse a little flavor. So now that it's finished cooking through and it's nice and tender, we're just gonna place it right on the salad, mm. like that. And then we'll drizzle a little bit of dressing over the top. I love how all the ingredients have such specific and you know, great nutrient value. Uh-huh. And it's pretty too, you know, it looks good in the presentation, so. And there we go. Wow. That's our salmon salad. Mmm. Well, I know you like uh, salmon, so you'll have to tell me what you think of this one. Okay. Yeah, I haven't tried it prepared this way. Mmm. Mmm. That dressing on there is so good, I love it. Mm-hmm. It adds so much flavor, and that poaching in the apple juice. Mm-hmm. What a delicious way to add fish into your diet because when you can replace fish a couple of times a week with your mm -hmm. regular protein, mm -hmm. it's adding so much nutrition to your diet and to your lifestyle. And this doing it this way is so delicious. Mm -hmm. mm. Living better thanks Red Jeep Tours by Desert Adventures for bringing closed captioning to the hearing impaired. Welcome back everyone, and today we'll be talking about strength for better balance. And look who we have on my table here. Hi Lisa. Hi Thank Arnell. You. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> She'll be great. So Lisa, simply all I want you to do is, I want you to put both hands on top of your pelvis, just like so. This is going to show us a little landmark in how aware Lisa is when she squeezes her butt. If her Pelvis rises, that means that she's squeezing pretty well. So go ahead and try this at home. Put your hands on top of your pelvis, just like Lisa is. And Lisa, squeeze your buns and hold it for five seconds and breathe and smile, sure. Sometimes your calves might get involved, your hamstrings behind your quads, they get involved. But it's a full body exercise in this way. But mainly effectively is the glutes. We want that but to activate force. Lisa, go ahead and bend your right knee for me, please. We're gonna do a single leg raise. What that means is we're gonna activate some of these bigger, larger muscle structures in our body. Those really help when it comes to balance, when it comes to stability, standing up straight. We need those, yes, Lisa? Yeah. So, all we're gonna have Lisa, is I'm gonna demonstrate this, at home, you'll start here by lying down your bed, and do, the, do me a favor, when you go up, make sure you exhale, and inhale when you go down. By Lisa doing this right here, she'll activate a lot of those large leg muscles. We need those when we stand up tall, when, when we're walking, we need that structure to activate for us. Good, and she's doing a great job right here. She's maintaining her pelvis all the way in the bed, or if you're lying down, she's not raising it. It's very also important that you do this lying down because you're able to activate a lot more with right technique. Technique is very important that you don't get yourself hurt. Hi, I'm Jan, and welcome to Kitchen Kitchen. When you first walk in, you're gonna notice the wonderful aroma of our gourmet coffees. Peruse the well-stocked shelves filled with those unique and hard-to-find items, and check out our wide selection of bakeware, barware, and barbecue, as well as our full line of quality cookware, cutlery, and gadgets galore. We also offer knife and scissor sharpening, so you can shop while we sharpen. Need a gift? We have it for everyone on your list and even offer beautiful complimentary gift wrap. Follow me into the kitchen where we hold the cooking classes and private events. You may even catch a demo of our best-selling gadgets, such as the square egg press, the pineapple slicer, the apple peeler, the electric rotato, and my personal favorite, the chopper. Stop by Kitchen Kitchen today. Family owned and operated for three generations since 1979. So come on into Kitchen Kitchen. Hope to see you soon. Welcome to Desert Outreach Synagogue, the voice of the valley. A place called home to anyone who needs one. 
place of incredible music, community, conversation, and connection. Come join us. You already belong. Bobby Botinas, Mexican and American Grill. Coming soon to the river in Rancho Mirage. Lunch, happy hour, dinner, and evening entertainment. Bobby Botinas, coming soon to the river in Rancho Mirage. Hi, Mark Anthony with Reverse Mortgage Work. You'd like to join thousands of people living better with the all new lower cost reverse or retirement mortgage? We don't have a celebrity spokesman. We're local, licensed, certified professionals. Call to receive your free quote and learn about a retirement mortgage today. Can we bend that left knee for us, please, and extend your right leg for us? Remember, you don't walk on one leg. Whatever you do on one, make sure you do it on the other as well. Lisa, we'll go ahead and repeat the same thing, and here we are. Come on up. Again, those quads are working. Lisa, great quads. Nice job. Core nice and tight. Always, doesn't matter if you're lying down at any rate. She does a great job. That core is so nice and snugged. We want to keep that. The pelvis is in the right posture. Her quads are activating. Lisa, stop all the way. Bend both knees. Next thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna do some bridges. Everyone can do a little bit of bridges. We can actually work on our glutes. We can work on our abdomen. I want you to make sure that your head's pretty flat to the ground. Lisa, lift your neck up a little bit, please. We wanna make sure that, that your whole spine's pretty even to the ground. We don't wanna be flexed here. So Lisa, put your feet apart, please, for me, just like so. And all you can do, Lisa, is I want you to tighten your core up, just like the first tighten your core up, good. And then go ahead and have your pelvis slip up and off the ground. Good, Lisa and all the way down, terrific. Again, it's another full body exercise in how you can help you balance out. This is a great format, how to activate your glutes, some of those larger structures, like your core, your quads, also your ankles. Don't forget about your ankles. Lisa, put your pelvis all the way down. Put your right ankle on your left knee. Yes, okay, let's, let's try it out. Let's see how easy this really is for Lisa here. Lisa, put your hands on your side. Same thing, she has the right mentality. When you put that toe up and the heel dug in the ground, you're activating your, your, your butt more. We want that. Lisa, elevate, please, all you easy ones out there. Good, and down. Good for you. We're gonna go ahead and do just a couple of these right here. And very important, if you do feel any pain or discomfort in your back or your hips, please stop and don't do this at home. And one last one, Lisa. And good for you, terrific. All the way down, good. Let's go ahead and switch. Go to the other side, please. Have your left ankle on your right knee. Same thing, and come on up, Lisa. And she does a great job as she elevates her pelvis. She breathes out. Great technique. She's been with me for some time. She knows the right stuff to do. And Lisa, all the way down. Legs nice and straight, please. Hey, guys, I'm gonna touch on something. Remember, everyone tells you, oh, my core is so important for my balance. Well, you know what? Your ankles are just as important. Remember that, right? So we're gonna make sure at home, you can put a little pillow. So all we can do at home is, see your little footsies right here? I want you to just press on the gas and come back up. Do this about 10 times right here. We wanna make sure that we exercise some of those ankle muscles. Those are very important. Your whole body weight is on your ankle muscles. Just to stress out some of those small structures and those small muscles, please do this at home, good. And Lisa, stop all the way. We're gonna stop, we're gonna switch to the other side. Good, and that's it, same thing. Again, press down the gas and, yep. Lisa, thank you again. High five, you did, you did so well. You. We all want you to do well at home as well. We'll see you next week. Please come back and see us. We would love to help you out a little more with balance and strength.